Welcome sa sip9.com. This video, tutuloy natin yung ating series about uh, calculus. No? And in this video, ay pag-uusapan natin yung uh, mga na-discuss na natin na topics, yung properties of limits. So, meron na tayong lima. No? Limang topics na na-discuss. We have the limit of a constant, limit of a, an identity function, uh, limit of uh, the sum and, prod, sum and difference of two functions, and... Uh, we also have the limit of the product of the functions. At yung pinakahuli natin na pinag limit of the nth power of a function. No? So, ang gagawin natin, gagamitin natin itong mga theorems na to derive yung uh, the limit of a a polynomial function. No? So, tingnan natin kung paano natin i-relate itong mga theorems na ito dito sa uh, polynomial function natin. Okay, so limit of, let's find the limit of x squared plus 3x minus 5 as x approaches negative 3, no? So, okay, so, uh, kung mapapansin nyo, lahat na pag-aaralan natin, no? ito may power, ito product, at itong tatlo, no? Yung, yung tatlo, pwede tayong mag-add, mag, uh, mag no? And then mag-minus, that's, that's sum and difference, no? So, the problem is, paano natin ito i-break down, no? Kung maalala nyo sa law number, o sa property number 3, no? Uh, makikita natin that we can, if we have two functions, we can actually get their limits and then add them, no? Add their limits, no? Uh, yun sa sum and difference. So, ibig sabihin, kung mapaghihiwalay natin tong tatlong ito as individual functions, then we can use uh, this law, no? law number 3 or the theorem number 3 no now um, and in fact we can no so if for example we we let uh, f of x be equal to x squared tapos g of x be equal to 3x and uh, negative 5 no h of x be equals neg to negative 5 then we have two functions and we can operate on these functions. Ibig sabihin, pwede natin kunin yung limit nito isa-isa, no? Which is gagawin natin dito. This will become limit of, ano yung f of x natin? x squared as x approaches negative 3. And then plus the limit of gx, no? Of 3x as x approaches negative 3. And minus the limit of 5 as x approaches negative 3. Anong law nga ito? Anong ginamit natin para makuha to? This is the product, the sum and product, no? Sorry, sorry. Sum and product, ako na sum and product. This is sum and difference, no? So, tinirit natin sila as uh, functions na hiwahiwalay tapos in natin sila. So, this is sum and difference, yung number, yung theorem number 3 natin sa kabilang window. This is uh, theorem number 3. Ah, this one, Okay. Now, ano na susunod? Now, this is, is this familiar? This is um, power, no? Nth power, no? Kasi nire-raise mo yung isang function into uh, a certain power, in this case, 2, no? So, here, we can just... Anong ginawa natin kanina? Pag, pag yung sa kabilang video natin, pag power, kukunin mo na yung limit ng x, no? As x approaches negative 3, saka natin is square, no? Now, the reason for that is that we want L, no? Diba? Kukunin natin yung L and, the, and L, no? The limit of, for example, the limit of f of x equals L, no? So, as x approaches a certain a, yung f of x natin is itong x mismo, no? And we want the limit of this, no? Panoorin nyo yung previous video, may, may mas malinaw tayong example doon. So, this is by the power. Then, this one, product naman siya, no? Sabay-sabay na natin. So, limit of 3 as x approaches negative 3 times the limit of x, no? So, hiniwalay ko rin sila. Parang magkaibang function. So, limit of x as x approaches uh, negative 3. This is also by the product, no? Product, uh, of a function, no? And then minus, copyhin ko na lang to, 
limit of um, 5 as x approaches negative 3. So, ito, ang reason dito is yung product. That's number 4, di ba? Ito yan, no? Pag may dalawa kang function, pwede mo silang, uh, yan, kunin yung product kunin yung limit ng isa, kunin mo rin yung limit ng isa. Saka mo i-multiply yung kanilang limit. So here, ang ginawa natin is that hiniwalay ko yung dalawang function. Ginawa kong ang function is y equals 3 for example. Saka yung isa y equals x. No? And then, pinag-iwalay ko sila. No? Now this time, pwede ko nang kunin yung limit nito. This is a... Uh, ang ginamit ko pala dito is power, no? The, the limit of the nth power. So this is, uh, this is already a, a an identity function. So ang, ang ano nito, ang kanyang sagot ay the limit of x as x approaches negative 3 ay negative 3. Yung nasa loob and then we square. And then we add. This is a constant function. This is a low number low ako ng low, no? but theorem, maybe we should stick to theorem. Theorem number 2. Oh no, theorem number, this is theorem number 1, no? Constant, no? Uh, uh, the, the limit of a constant function, or the limit of constant is that constant also. So that's 3 times, this is a, an identity function, so whatever the value of that x approaches is also the limit of the function. So this is 3 sorry, negative 3, and then again, we have a constant function, which is 5 na yung kanyang uh, limit. No? So this is uh, negative 3 squared, that's 9, plus, hmm, this is negative 9, and then minus 5. No? So 9 plus negative 9 is 0, and then, 0 and minus 5 which is equal to negative 5 so these are just uh, simple manipulations but uh, these also follow from the law no? for example itong dalawang ito bakit ko sila pwedeng i-add because of the sum and difference no? ito yung mga limits nitong mga ito eh. so pag, pag may limit yung isang function at may limit yung isang function pwede mo silang i-add by this um theorem. No? So, question, wala ba kayo napapansin? x squared tapos negative 3 squared. 3x, 3 times negative 3 minus 5. Para sinabsitute na natin, di ba? Yung negative 3 dito, sinabsitute natin sa x dito. Tapos yung negative 3 dito, sinabsitute natin sa x dito. Tapos minus 5, di ba? Pareho, di ba? Ito yung positive 3, ito yung positive 3. No? So, bakit ganun? Bakit parang sinabsitute lang? Actually, yun yung shortcut, no? Isa-substitute mo lang siya sa polynomial functions. So, any polynomial function, the shortcut there would be the limit, no? Ito na. Papadali na yung buhay natin. The limit of uh, x squared plus 3x minus 5 as x approaches negative 3 is actually negative 3 squared plus 3 times negative 3 minus 5, which is equal to 9 plus negative 9 minus 5, which is equal to 0 minus 5, which is equal to negative 5. So, sinasubstitute lang siya. Bakit? Dahil dun kanina sa mga laws na, o sa mga theorems na pinag-aralan natin. No? So, basically, the limit of the polynomial function P of X as x approaches a is actually p of a. So, sinasubstitute lang yung a sa dun sa x, no? Sa, sa lahat ng x's dun sa polynomial, no? So, dito ang a natin is negative 3. Ito yung p of x natin. So, ang negative 3, sa substitute lang natin dun sa x. So, kaya siya naging negative 3 squared plus 3 times negative 3 minus 5. Kaya siya napunta dito, no? Okay? So, ito yung pinaka-theorem natin. Basically, this is the, the uh, summary of 
na 5 theorems no na pinag-aaralan natin dito sakop niya na itong at uh, sakop na siya dito sa limit ng polynomial no polynomial function okay so maybe we ha we will have uh, another example so paano nga yung pagsasabihin mo na a limit of uh, 3x to the 4th plus 2x squared minus 8 as x approaches 2, for example. Okay. So, ibig sabihin nito, this is equal to uh, three times two, diba? to the fourth uh, plus two times two squared minus eight, tama? So three times x to the fourth plus two times two squared minus eight. So this becomes sixteen. This is forty-eight plus eight minus eight. So this is just forty-eight. Kasi magiging zero na tong dalawang ito. So, again, if we let P, no, if we let T of X be equal to uh, 3X to the 4th plus 2X squared minus 8, then the limit of T of X as X approaches 2 is the same as T of 2. Yung T of 2 natin, sinabstitute natin lahat. Okay, so one more example bago tayo mag-end. No? Hmm. Okay, so let S of X be equal to um, X to the X cubed minus 3X squared plus 2X minus 5. Uh, find the limit of f of x of s of x sorry as x approaches negative 4 no? so since since the limit the limit of s of x as x approaches negative 4 is equal to s of 4 then the limit of s of x as x approaches negative 4 is equal to 4 oh, negative pala to. negative 4 cubed negative 4 cubed minus 3 times negative 4 squared plus 2 times negative 4 minus 5 so, magiging uh, negative 64 minus, uh, this is uh, 16 ta times 3. This is 48. And then, we have uh, plus uh, negative 8 minus 5. Tama? So, negative 64 minus, this is 16 times 3, 48 plus negative 8 minus 5. So, ilan lahat dyan? That's 64 plus 48 plus 8 plus 5. That's 12, 25 carried to 125. It's negative 125. So, meaning, the limit of S of X as x approaches negative 4 is equal to negative 125. I hope hindi ako nagkamali sa pag dito, no? So, this is negative 64 minus 48 minus 8 minus 5, which is the same as uh, you add everything and then you just put negative, no? Kasi puro naman siya na negative. Okay, so I hope meron tayong natutunan dito sa video na to. At least ngayon, uh, marunong na tayo mag- uh, compute ng limits ng polynomial, polynomial function. No? Sinasubstitute lang pala yun. Now, tanong bakit? We went through the the rigor, no? The, we went through all the trouble of uh, learning yung mga properties. Dahil doon ang galing itong mga ito. No? 
hindi lang sila basta parang kabuti na bigla na lang sumulpot to. At least sa, alam natin kung saan galing. Okay, so I hope maraming uh, marami kayo natutunan sa video nito. Uh, see you in the next tutorial.